Hey guys, I'll be here for an off-road review of the brilliant BMW F800 GS. On this review we're gonna go over the capability of a stock OEM BMW F800 GS. We're gonna see if an average rider, like I am, can actually go to the dealer, buy this bike, put knobby tires, and go in the wild and enjoy some off-road and see if the bike can actually compensate for lack of skills on my part. So now let's take a look at the specs and don't take it from me, take it from the expert. Hello, I'm the expert. So let's go over the specs for the BMW F800 GS. In this case is a 2015 uh, bike and let's see what the manufacturer says. First and foremost, we have a four-valve, two-cylinder inline engine. It's about 798 cc's. Uh, the max output for this bike is about 85 uh, horsepower. This is a six-speed uh, transmission. The clutch is mechanically operated, so via a clutch cable and is a wet multi-disc clutch. Uh, the final drive, contrary to most BMW, is actually a chain drive, easy to replace, and you can get the dirt off of it just by spraying it with a water hose. The maximum speed, according to the manufacturer of this motorcycle, is 125 miles per hour. The stock suspension, 230 millimeter uh, travel front, uh, front fork, uh, just about uh, nine inches. And then we have uh, a rear suspension of 215 millimeter. That's about 8.5 inches. Uh, it's a pretty good travel, considering that we have a 21 inch uh, front tire that allow us to go over bumps and rocks and logs. The brakes are a double floating disc up front, 300 millimeters, and we have a single disc in the back, which is about 265 millimeters all accompanied by a 21 inch front wheel and a 17 inch rear wheel. The average fuel consumption for this bike is about 59 miles per gallon. This bike is a good compromise between road and off-road because of the weight of the bike itself. The bike is 472 pounds with a full tank. 472 pounds, so sub 500 pounds for an adventure bike is pretty good because uh, this one can easily be used as a dual sport. Now, dry weight is only 421, so when you're run, uh, running out of gas, you can jump just a little bit higher between you and your passenger and the bag. You shouldn't exceed 507 pounds. Tank capacity is about 4.2 gallons. You have a reserve of approximately one gallon, so if you're in the bush, or Hopefully you're within 40 miles of the next gas station and you'll be okay. That's it for now. I did my part as an expert. Enjoy the rest of the review. Thank you. Now that you guys heard from the expert, let's get into it. Let's get the bike for a spin and uh, let's see how it does off-road. Here we are, finally in the dirt with our BMW F800 GS. Now, first and foremost, power. This 800cc engine has absolutely enough power to play around and do anything you ask of it in the dirt. The bike will actually climb anything you put in front of it. Steep hills, not a problem. As long as you have a set of good knobbies, the bike will actually do it. Now, you also need to stop and the brakes are a pretty good feature on this bike they give you plenty of feel and plenty of stopping power and thanks to the capacity of the abs to be switched off you can actually let the rear loose and slide around a bit the suspensions are okay they soak up uh, most of the bumps but uh, if you jump a little higher they tend to bottom out quite a bit yes they are wp suspensions but uh, it could be better. Pretty good, no? Take the bike off the beaten path and it really shines. 
rocks, bumps, logs are not really a problem. The 21 inch front wheel will go over anything and the power will actually help out. Now, the bike is very versatile. With a low CG, thanks to the fuel tank being under the seat, you can actually maneuver the bike like if it was a way lighter bike than it actually is. Stand up on the pegs and you'll find out that the bike is actually pretty comfortable. Uh, the narrow seat and the fact that the fuel tank is behind you rather than in front of you gives you plenty of space to move around and maneuver the bike the way you want. Going uphill you can lean forward, going downhill you can lean backward. There will be nothing impeding your movement. All in all, the bike is incredibly good off-road and a lot of fun. So yes, you can buy this bike straight out of the dealer, put some knobbies on it and go get lost in the wild. Once you do, you will always be on the lookout for some little trail branching off the main road. So get yourself a little GPS just in case you get lost and go enjoy this fantastic bike in the dirt. Thanks for watching. As always, like, comment, share, and most important, subscribe. And see you next time.